Hi guys, how are you doing today? And welcome to level number 10 of this uh, pre-intermediate course. So we're going to be focusing on unit number five. Okay, and this is lesson number one. And in this first lesson, we're going to be describing uh, in general terms, um, both topics from the unit. So in this unit, you're going to learn or you will learn to use going to and will for future plans. And number two, give advice and talk about needs. So we're going to get into a little bit more details uh, in a second. And um, let's begin with this first topic, use going to and will, okay? So as you know, we use will and going to for future plans. Now in this case, uh, the idea is to talk about and or describe plans you already decided and plans you are unsure of. What does that mean? That you don't know, okay? You don't know about your plan. So in this case, for the first part, going to for plans you already decided. So in the question, what are you going to do this weekend? In this case, there are two options. I'm going to go to the movies on Saturday or we're going to visit some family on Sunday. As you can see, we use going to because we already have a plan, okay? We made a decision, we're 100% sure or 90% sure or very sure that we're going to do this particular activity, okay? So we use going to. What are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to go to the movies on Saturday. We're going to visit some family on Sunday. But what happens when you do not, when you don't have a plan? You're not sure. Well, in this case, we are going to use will. Okay? In the same question, what are you going to do this weekend? But, as you can see in the responses, all of them refer or give the idea that you don't know exactly what you're going to do. So, for example, number one. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go out with some friends. Okay, as you can see, you have the word or the expression, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. And also you have the expression maybe. And of course, we use will. In this case, it is abbreviated instead of we will. We just simply abbreviate and say will. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go out with some friends. Number two, I don't know. I guess I'll stay home and watch some movies. So the same, we have ex the expression, I don't know. That gives the idea that you haven't made any plans. I guess, again, it's another expression that gives the idea that it's a possibility, but it's not confirmed. So, I don't know. I guess I'll stay home and watch some movies. Okay, again, we use I will, in this case, abbreviate it with I'll. And finally, we are going to use a negative form of will, which is won't. Okay, so what are you going to do this weekend? I probably won't go anywhere. Okay, again, this is the abbreviation of will not, the opposite. I probably won't go anywhere. Okay, so this is it for the topic of using going to and will. Let's move on to the second topic for this unit and in this case we have it's divided into two sections. The first one, keywords to give advice. Yes, they are model verbs and we also have keywords to mention needs, the same model verbs. Let's focus on the first one, keywords to give advice. So, as you can see we have one, two, three and four model verbs. Had better ought to, should, and shouldn't. Okay, the first one. Well, actually, before I give the examples, uh, it's important to mention that had better, ought to, and should are very similar in meaning. So, for example, in Spanish, had better, ought to, and should, uh, a similar expression or a similar word would be deberías o más vale. Okay. 
So those are the two words that are similar in meaning in Spanish to these three, had better, ought to, and should. Okay? So, had better. As you can see, all of these model verbs, and they are used model because they are like an additional verb, you have you'd better, right? Which is had better. And then after that, you have your verb, arrive. The same with ought to. You ought to, and then you have your main verb, take. Then you have should. After should, you have your main verb, ask. And shouldn't, you have shouldn't, and then after that, you have your main verb, carry. So they're always used before your main action or your main verb. Okay, so had better. You'd better arrive to the airport early. You'd better arrive. Then, ought to. You ought to take your camera. There are beautiful landscapes. Okay, again, ought to. Ought to take. You ought to take your camera. There are beautiful landscapes. Should. You should ask locals for tips and places to visit. Again, should ask. You should ask locals for tips and places to visit. And shouldn't. You shouldn't carry too much cash. It might be dangerous. Okay, so these are key words to give advice, right? Shouldn't, should, ought to, and you'd better or had better. Then, for this second section, we have key words to mention needs. Again, they are model verbs, and we have four. We have must, need to, have to, or don't have to. Okay, very similar to the previous, must, need to and have to are very similar so in Spanish would be something like debes or necesitas or tienes okay which means that it's kind of like an obligation right you have to do it because it's very important so we have must okay remember you must carry your passport at all times so when you visit a different country uh, this would be an example of a need. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, don't pay attention. Okay, must. Remember, you must carry your passport at all times. Then, need to. You need to be at least 21 years old to rent a car, right? You need to be at least 21 years old to rent a car. Then we have have to. You have to file for a visa. You have to file for a visa. Have to. And finally, don't have to. You don't have to pay taxes at the duty-free stores. Okay? So these are examples, again, to mention needs or obligations, right? Using must, need to, have to, or don't have to. All right? Well, this is the end of lesson number one. I will see you for lesson number two and three to talk about more about these topics. All right? Have a nice day.